All right, day day three me. Seven days before a competition. Greetings, Tuskless one. It's a freaking walrus. Nips! <laughs> Have one for you. A question of dire importance. The potions that you sell, do you make them yourself? I sure do. Every potion you see is handcrafted on site by me, Sylvia. Muktuk. Glad to be to hear it, for potion crafting is a noble profession. A noble profession indeed. I am pleased to meet you, Sylvia. You may call me Muktuk, for that is my name. I wonder if I might be of service to you in your endeavors. Are you another hero person? Oh, we're not really hiring right now. You misunderstand. I do not seek employment, for I have already found my calling, and it is a great one. Like you, I am a craftsperson. My media and, my media and men, metal. I was going to say my mental. In all the minerals of the earth, my skills, my skill is unmatched. But key to any artisan's success is access to the right tools, and I cannot help but notice you appear to be brewing your potions in a shabby bucket of some kind. It's kind of true. Tell me, do you not thrive on innovation? Do you not wish to dance upon the razor's edge of progress? I like being on the cutting edge. Innovation is as necessary as food and breathable air. It also tends to be expensive. Then you must allow me to be of service. Please accept this cauldron as a token of my respect and as a sample of all I have to offer. Is that all he has to offer? He just gave me a cauldron. He's like, hey, I can I can offer you some some of my uh, my skills. My one skill is that I can give you a cauldron. Thank you. So generous of you, but are you sure? Where I come from, cauldrons are pretty expensive. I only regret that I cannot offer all my many goods and services for free of charge. Okay, there's. He gave me a sample. He gave me a suckle of the services, kind of like World of Warcraft, up to level 20. He's hooked me. Truly, it is a most impossible dilemma. I view each cauldron as a work of art, and art is meant to be freely accessible to all. And yet, if I find I must cover the cost of production at the very least. Otherwise, I shall have no materials with which to make these artworks. And to leave these righteous flippers bereft of material and idle of purpose would be unthinkable. In the end, to put a price tag upon my cauldrons, this feels like the lesser sin. Speaking of art, nice tats, brother. Oh, I'm sorry, those are your nipples? I thought they were tattoos. Where are his tattoos? <laughs> oh, he's got one like on the side of his head. Like right here. Oh, he does have. I think that's a tattoo. Uh, of all of life's canvases, none is more exquisite than the body. Agreed. Especially a body that is rippling with muscle. Okay, there's his tattoos. But I hope you don't find my confidence off putting. Such conviction is not so common here as it is in my homeland. I find it necessary, however, to hold myself in high regard. Those of us who put our creations on display, who are judged so openly and so often, should be the first to see and celebrate our own strengths. We must be some kind. Oh, we must be kind to ourselves. We must pump ourselves up. For it is only by fanning the spark of pride within us that we can hope to ignite the flames of interest in one in another. No, oh, pump up, pump up the volume. Increase the interest applied by the next interest raising card by 50%. That's pretty good, dude. It's pretty good, dude. Solid advice. Solid as an anvil. I'm glad to know you, Sylvia, and I hope that I hope that I shall see you again. Please visit my market stall. See all that I have to offer. For the world can be a cold place. And those of us who toil to bring light and beauty into being, we must stand together. All right, brother. Thank you. This is important.
the local merchants guild has imploded freeing up the money that local merchants had set aside for side for dues increasing increase in merchant customers okay increase in merchant customers local excitement over the dragons sighted gave way to panic when the dragons set the nearby forest ablaze. The enchanted forest has weaker monsters and decreased loot drops. Enchanted forest ingredients will cost more. Son of a... Nice of Muck Tuck to give you a new cauldron. Yeah, how much can it hold? That's my only question. Set it up in the shop now, shall we? Customizing the shop. To your liking is a big perk to owning the place. Customization tab. Cauldron. Clay cauldron, six max ingredients, max midgemins, magimins. Muktuk's test cauldron. Can I swap you? What did that say? Cauldron is currently in use. Oh. Collect or discard the potion to make a swap. Oh. Let's collect it. Clearly, I want my my stuff I just made. Thank you. And now we swap it. Smart. You so smart. Poof. Flooring. It's already there. <laughs> Wall with a hole in it? Wood walls. Yo, we're gonna pimp this place out. I need money. Um, Let's brew, because if we've set one up before we go on a journey, then it'll be done by the time we get back. Right? I think so. Three. Dunk me? That's a tier three. Did it make? Yeah, it makes one extra potion too. Takes two to brew. Brew me. Brew me, baby. Brew me, baby. I want to go see what Muck Tuck has. My dude. We got five hundos. May I be of service? Or how may I be of service? Purchase new equipment. Oh, maximum magimins increased. Same amount of ingredients. No bonuses. One extra ingredient. Materials required, just 100 gold. Shelf me? Ooh. A 5% price increase, additional potions for 3%. Additional for tonics. We don't, I mean, our brewing capacity Slightly increased, we might need a shelf. I am honored by your decision to make a purchase. Honored and delighted. Hey, don't mention it. Gonna get a lot of use out of it, so we're both benefiting. From your lips to the ears of the ancestors. However, it must be said that even this fine, fine work you have selected it could be better. Do not mistake me, it is a work of art, and I'm proud of it. But should you find yourself with surplus ingredients and disposable funds, then I would be able to enhance the item far beyond its current incarnation. You mean like an upgrade? An upgrade, yes, you can call it an upgrade. Or a reimagining. Or a revolutionary advancement in the corporeal manifestation of the arts. Upgrade is easier to remember. Very well, remember this too. An upgrade to a cauldron can greatly increase the cauldron's maximum stable ingredients, or it might even increase the number of ingredients you can place in it. 
An upgrade to a shelf will increase its surface area and stability, allowing you to place more potions upon it. Consider it, yes? It would bring me great joy to do this for you. And to you, it could bring great profit. Thanks, guy. Upgrades. A little shroomage. No cauldrons to upgrade. Hmm. Okay. Good deal. Let's go see how Buttercup is doing. With your departure, the fire dims. I think he likes me. Whoa. Pixie Dust Diamond. Imp stool? It has an extra thing to it. Not sure what that's for. A uh, fairy flower bulb. Oh, maybe sniffing? Like the aroma? Is good. Perfectly adequate timber sourced from only non sentient trees. Thank you. I accept your trade offer. The Enchanted Forest was no sweat. I actually enjoyed being out there. I knew you could handle it. I'm excited to use those those ingredients you brought back. Found some other goodies too. I set them aside for you. These are glamours. They'll change the look of your shop. They're purely cosmetic, so don't expect any tangible benefits. Still, they're pretty cool, right? Ooh, let's go. Thanks. I can see how It'd be nice to switch things up every now and then. No problem. I'll keep an eye out for more. Apparently some critters got into a shipment and now they're spread all over the island. Which reminds me, I can return to the forest any time, but I'm also up for more of a challenge. The mushroom mire and the bone waste are available to me now. They're a little more dangerous, but that means better rewards. Here's one more tip. You should introduce yourself to our guildmaster, Baptiste. He sends out daily expeditions. If you invest in one, you'll get a share of what comes back. Be sure to introduce myself, and I'll keep you in mind for further adventures, too. Sounds good, Sylvia. I'm ready when you are. What a mad lad. Hey, Sylvia, what's new? How do I talk to Baptiste? Jean-Baptiste? You know I'm game. I don't think I have any potions for you, though. Mushroom Mire. Bone Wastes? They got one. Oh, she got XP up, too. She's level two now. Oh, fire damage? Poison Cure. Required to advance. Oh. Oh, interesting. Okay. I mean, I could send you out, but you're not going to go very far. That's two. Well, she, she don't die, right? <laughs> She's not just going to die out there, I don't think. HP-wise, she can only get through two people, so this seems like... I don't have any potions for you and it would take me so order of operations like I should come here with potions prepped to give her before coming here in the morning to send her on an adventure otherwise she's not gonna get very far I mean I could send her and then come back with potions and then pick up whatever she has and then send her out again That still kind of makes sense to me. Oh, Baptiste Heroes Guild. He's here. Wow, this place is bigger than I realized. Greetings, fair patron. Greetings and welcome to the Heroes Guild. 
I'm Baptiste, esteemed guildmaster and fledgling barkeep. Hi, I'm Sylvia new in town, and I make potions. Then you'll certainly benefit from our services. Hiring a hero is a surefire way to get your hands on new ingredients. You can work directly with any hero you're acquainted with, or come to me. I always have a list of upcoming expeditions. Invest in one, and in return, you'll receive a portion of whatever loot is brought back. Wow. Sounds like this guild has a lot to offer. We aim to please. So if there's anything else I can do to be of service, just let me know. How about sharing some pointers? Do you have any advice for a fellow merchant? Well, I don't know that I'm a merchant, per se. I'm more of a facilitator. A master administrator, if you will. I keep everything running smoothly here while our town's great great heroes seek glory, adventure, and resources. It almost sounds like you're bragging about being a bureaucrat. Don't you know? Bureaucrats are the very linchpin holding society together. We don't call ourselves heroes. But if making order of a chaotic world isn't heroic, I don't know what is. That's an interesting point of view, isn't it? And in striking a a conversation about it I'm demonstrating that piece of advice you asked for how to be smug we just earned a smug card if you got something to sell then best to captivate your audience forthwith you've learned smugness captivate increase patience by one if opener increase patience by two nice thanks nerd cost zero two I think I can manage that it's advice I've taken recently to heart. Uh, I arrived here only a few moments ago. Or arrived here only a few months, moment, months ago? Intent on guiding this guild to greatness. And the heroes have greeted me with open arms, although some of their traditions are rather mystifying. Say, you look like a commoner. You insulting son of a... Maybe you could share some insights. You must be a noble then. Idiot. Shh. <laughs> I'm trying to downplay all that, you know? To help me fit in with you commoners? Who sleep in your own shops? But that brings up brings us to my next question. Tell me, this charming little tradition of leaving gifts in a new friend's shoes. Wait, what? This charming little tradition of leaving gifts in a new friend's shoes. You leave gifts in somebody's shoes? Here, have a muffin. I'll put it in your shoe. Gifts? Yes, you know, like shaving cream. Rotten fruit. And that one time it was a scorpion. That doesn't surprise me. <laughs> Is that really supposed to go on for months? I mean, I'm flattered, but it's starting to feel like overkill. Should we tell him? I feel like I need to knock him down a peg. They're taunting you, Baptiste. There's no tradition like that. Oh, really? Well, joke's on them. Because I've been taunted by the best. It will take more than a bit of tomfoolery to get my goat. To get your goat? Is that a saying? <laughs> At any rate, I shouldn't be too surprised. I knew coming here that there would be a period of adjustment. Finding yourself suddenly in a new land and in a new role... It can be challenging, can it? At least you're handsome. Uh, we're not gonna know. I don't think so. We'll get the hang of it. I mean, almost everyone in this town is a transplant. Indeed. In that sense, you and I fit in quite well. At any rate, it's been a, been a pleasure making your acquaintance, Sylvia. I hope you decide to avail yourself of our services. And I trust we'll find an opportunity to chat again soon. I hate this guy already. Greetings and salutations. That's what I say. <laughs> am I, am I Baptiste? Oh no, what have I become? Adventure investments. Ingredients will be available to collect tomorrow. Wait, what? Adventure investments. I'm investing gold. Six per. Rare ingredient bonus. Disrupts ecosystem. What does that mean? Is that a good thing? 
<laughs> I don't know. That, disrupting the ecosystem doesn't seem like a good thing. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. But I'm going to make this to 100% for the rare ingredient bonus. How much money I got? I mean, I got enough, don't I? 124? Sure. We're disrupting the hell out of the ecosystem. I'll make sure they leave immediately. Yeah, you do that. Fare thee well, ogre. Hey, Sylvie, I heard you've been busy. Uh-oh, what have you heard exactly? Nothing especially interesting. Mint mentioned you've just been working with the Heroes Guild. She's too nice to give you the real gossip. It's a major shortcoming, if I'm honest. I didn't realize you two knew each other. I know all the heroes. After they go on their little adventures, they sell your tra their trash items to me. Oh, It's basically my whole business model. Trash comes in, trash goes out. Of course, they keep the best stuff for their clients, so I'm guessing you've got something decent in your inventory for once. Maybe something I've never seen before. Give it here. Uh, excuse me? What? No! Why would I do that? Suit yourself, I'm just trying to help you out. I know how this goes. Get your hands on good ingredients, and you're all excited to use it in a potion, right? So you throw it in the cauldron and poof, it's gone forever. It doesn't have to be that way. What's the alternative? Easy, hand it over to me instead. My clairvoyance lets me hone in on specific ingredients, meaning if you give me something good, I'll be able to find more of it. And then I can start offering that ingredient for sale in my shop. You miss out on the instant gratification, but you get a guaranteed access to the ingredient in the future. Yeah, okay, I can see how that can come in handy. I'll let you know if I decide to take you up on it. There, see? You give me free stuff and we all benefit. Mostly me, but still. I wouldn't expect you to operate any other way, but hey, since you're all chummy with the heroes, does that mean I'll be running into you in the guild hall? Nah. Despite the invaluable service I provide the heroes, I'm not exactly welcome in their clubhouse. You set one fire and suddenly everybody acts like you're a real liability. You set two fires and you get banned for life. Consider yourself warned, I guess. Now, did you want to buy something? Okay, we got a fire starter. Twisted fire starter. We meet again. Expand. Do I have anything special? I kind of do. I got a shroom. I have one, one of each. I'll give you a shroom. <laughs> Why does she look so high? <laughs> Why does she look so high? <gasps> oh, that's funny. <laughs> she looks stoned AF, right? I just looked over and I was like, man, she looks lit. Uh, one of each ingredient. Oh, I guess we might as well just give it to her. Huh? Let me do my thing. Now that she's eating the shrooms. No wonder. Now it all makes sense. Give me a date. I have some in stock. Eight? Does that mean the price is higher? Uh, I kind of need some, don't I? I don't know how many I have in stock. Oh, five? Three? Is that my number? That I have in stock? I think it is. Maybe? Why would I have less?
Why wouldn't I have an even amount if I'm using these for recipes? Oh, because I use them in this and then in this. I see, yeah. I'm broke, man. What's the math on that? Did I math that right? Five? I don't think I did. Thirteen? What did she say? You lick it? You lick it, you buy it. <laughs> I like her, man. She's fantastic. What is this? Just the map? I think it's time to go back to the shop. Oh, we still got something cooking. One hour. Customization is my new shelf up. way oh baby upgrades polished wall did that do both of them I think it did nice I mean I got two I can so Uh, you can filter by color with those buttons. Also, add buffs to them with the enhancements. Wait, what? Filter what? I'm not sure what you're, what, which uh, menu you're referring to. Increase patience by one if opener, increase patience by two. Maybe that's what the ingredients... Okay, yeah, because we had one that had a... Aroma trait on it. Hmm. Let's sell what we got. Oh no, this idiot. No special treatment for me, I insist.
He's gonna complain. Yeah, no surprise there. Gain two shield. We don't want to close the deal yet. Should I come back when you're less distracted? You wretched scum. Hit him with the pump. Hit him with the reel. Plant the seed. We don't need a shield because you're not doing anything. We lose three this time, but NBD. Uh oh. What is he throwing a fit? Reduces all interest gain by 25%. can pump and then play this. Ooh. Let's go. That was a good play. 57. You're a pro. You're damn right I am. Take care, loser. <laughs> hope, the, hope the heroes make use of this place. Hope we can make it. We can come to an agreement. Set him up. What are you doing? Minus one. Not too worried about that. Let's draw three. Increase your patience. Okay, that's your deck. Okay, you can't see that on screen, but... Not necessary, I guess. Uh, if patience increased by one... I don't think we need to do that. Let me play another one of these. Plant the seed. Reel them in. This increases patience. Let's keep this going. Don't close it. End turn. That's two. Now what are you doing? Increases stress by one whenever a card is played. Oh, he's annoyed. Uh, just hit you with this and then close the deal. Nice. So all of them for now. We should be able to bottle the potions now. Bottle. Superb brew. Thank you. Pixie diamond. Doesn't really have effects on it, but one, two, three. Like, what's the difference here? Four to thirty-two. That goes to thirty-six. I guess it costs less to use. Brew three, brew Does that require red and yellow? I'm trying to think ahead. Red and yellow. I have to brew another one. We should be able to do it before the day's up, though. Maybe. Two. Yeah, that should get me there. Don't forget to arrange your potions. Should we keep one? I 
need to brew. I need to brew more. I need to be able to brew. Good to see you. I mean, it, it's looking pretty great. The price is right. Uh, get captivated as my opener. Uh, increases stress by two at the start of Sylvia's turn. I'll hit you with one of those. I'll end my turn. We don't want to close it out yet. Good my hands, how about you? Ouch. You sassy batch. Draw three. Hit you with the draw. Oh no! I don't think we're gonna go two turns unless we stop here. Uh, we could get another Captivate to go further. Let's push it. The curse cards are hitting me. Uh, I think we're... I think we're done. Forty-four. Give me my money. Take care. Shit them up. Plant a seed. Draw one card. I mean, is it worth drawing? Probably not. Just end the turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you're stressing me out. You're reducing the price. Draw three. You're stressing me out with one. I could brace, close, and then wait for the next turn. Could get another Captivate. He is reducing my price, but we should be able to bump it back up. We got one Patience. Come on, Captivate. Oh, baby! play this and then that closer with the 14 nice you the best take care how many potions we got oh don't know how you can be indoors all day is this potion any good I thought we only had three potions how many have we sold Get the set em up bonus. End turn. Oh, get captivated. You stressing me? Nope, not at all.
cards that you have discarded, graveyard will be recycled back in your deck when you have zero cards. Do these just, do these get discarded? I'm just gonna hit you with that. You're not the only one with a shot to run. Sylvia's turn. Ooh. He's not good. I do get shield, though. I can close the sail. Three. Probably should. But I'm not gonna. Oh, I only have one patience left. Got yourself a sail. Yoink. Have a nice day. I thought we only had three potions. Maybe I'm maybe I'm crazy. Bolt me. Times three. Two? Sender? Sender, bud. Uh, sleeping counts as two time slots, I believe, so you get the free brewing time overnight. Events time to the next day reduces stress by 10 plus an additional 10 for each skipped time slot. Makes sense to end it, I think. I think? Minus 179. I mean, we did put a lot of money into investments. Gold spent 414, gold earned 235. 